السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین برادرس اینڈ سسٹرز ٹوڈے از دی 18th ڈے اف دی منتھ اف رمضان المبارک 1442 افٹر ہجرہ مے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بلس اپان اس فرام ٹو نائٹ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو انٹر ٹو دی اسپیشل نائٹس نائٹس اف قدر مے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بلس اپان اس الحمدللہ وی ار ایبل ٹو پرفارم اور قرآن ریسائٹیشن اسپیشلی وی ار ایبل ٹو کمپلیٹ دی 18th جز اف قرآن مے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی میک our hearts full of Qur'an, insha'Allah. So some of the takeaway points as a Qur'anic keys to success. The first point, brothers and sisters, one of the qualities of the mu'minin believers is when they pray, they pray only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with khudu and khushu, with utmost attentions to us, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever they do, they do with ikhlas and sincerity. The second point, they, they are trustworthy people. Mu'mineen are trustworthy people. Make sure that when you want to answer to people, when they do good, answer with not only good, the best one. And even those who are doing bad towards you, try to Be good with them. One of the very important lessons from this just brothers and sisters is those who are wealthy, surrounded with lots of bounties and blessings. You have a good job. You have a good pace. You have good you know, homes and so on and so forth. Make sure that those who are living in poverty, especially your family member, take care of that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us on the judgment day because all this wealth, wisdom, what all we have is a amana and trust. Make sure that when you want to enter to the homes of other people, or properties of other people, get the permission and say salam to them. One of the key lessons from this 18th juz of Quran, brothers and sisters, is hijab and iffat, lower gaze. Have a modest approach, whether you're dressing, you're walking, and so on and so forth. Especially when it comes to our sisters. Sisters, they are manifestation of the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, conceal your beauty from na mahram and give your beauty to the mahram. One of the key lessons from this beautiful juz of Qur'an is to help and facilitate those who are not married one, and especially your children, and encourage them to get married sooner. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the provider for that. And those who haven't married yet, they have to be very careful and vigilant, and they have to have a patience This dunya, brothers and sisters, and whatever you see is this dunya, we may caught up with this, the umure dunya. That's what's very important that we need to have a good plan for ourselves. One of the key component here, brothers and sisters, is establishment of the prayer, charity, and also obeying Noble Prophet of Islam are the key to success in our life. The last point, brothers and sisters, make sure that have a good schedule of your day, your life. Each and every split second, we need to have a good scheduling. Nazme amrikum, beloved Imam Amir al Mumin also, when he wants to give the wasiyah and will, the last wasiyah and will of Am beloved Imam Amir al muminin also is about nazm umur scheduling and organizing our time, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.